I found these utensils at a Walmart that had a really great craft section. I know some of you may not have that. I am going to put a description in the comments of a location on Etsy that you can find 18 inch utensils at a pretty decent price. I believe they were $6.99 for the three of them. But if you look on Etsy, there seems to be quite a bit that you can find. Um, outside of that, I had, you know, I, I feel like that was the best source. So I started by painting them, all three of them, with the Snow Owl by Wise Owl. I'm using my Klingon S30 brush. This is a great craft brush. It's nice and small. And it's great for, um, you know, these little projects, especially with the fork with the grooves. I picked up this uh, plaid stencil from a maker's studio. It is called plaid and you can find that at chalkitupfancy.com. And I'm just arranging it so that I can get all three stems of these utensils under the same stencil at the same time. I'm going to be using uh, a maker's studio's chalk paste in black. And I'm using our um, rubber spreaders from Redesign by Prima. They come in a pack of two. That is well you can find at chocolatefancy.com. And you just want to kind of just, it's very easy. You put a little bit on your spreader and you're just going to put a little bit of pressure so that the paint gets through the screen. Now, if you want something permanent, you may want to go with the black ink as this chalk paste is really not a permanent um, option, but I will show you what I did to, um, kind of seal it well. And then you're just going to lift up your stencil and immediately put it in water. And then you want to clean it as soon as you can. And I'm going to put these aside to dry. I found this plaque at Hobby Lobby. It is on sale this week for $8.99. And I also got these little galvanized letters also at Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to be using E6000. I just throw a little tape down just to kind of keep me guided so that my letters are decently uh, straight, somewhat straight. I love how I use the scissors as my measuring stick. And I'm just going to use the E6000 to place this down. Now, the, the galvanized is a very little small edge for me to put the glue on. So I really wasn't able to put a whole lot of um, hot glue to hold it. So I put the beads on there just as a weight, just for a few minutes to start to hold it. Because your letters will start to slide. That's the thing I run into. And I just don't want them to move at all. And it's going to take this E6000 overnight to completely set. So the better solution is to put a board across the entire thing. I'm going to remove my tape first. And this is kind of how I'm going to set it to dry. I'm going to put a board and then put the weight on there. So it's distributed more evenly across the letters. So I'm going to be using Rust-Oleum Clear 2X. And this is what I'm going to use to seal my chalk paste. Because if I took a brush and tried to seal it, it would just kind of activate it and it would wipe off. So you want to use a spray to seal your um, chalk paste. And I did several coats outside. It dried and now I'm just um, putting holes at the top of each utensil using my drill. And I'm using this little piece of tape and moving it from one to another so I can get my holes pretty much in the same location on each utensil so that they hang evenly. Then I'm going to take some jute and thread it through each utensil. I'm just going to use some jute and just put a little knot in it and leave just a little bit for um, so that it will hang. Now my E is nice and dry. I'm going to measure out some holes to put at the bottom of my plaque. 
and this will be where my hangers go. And I'm going to pre-drill my holes. And then I found these, uh, they were called cup hangers at my local um, True Value. And I liked them because they were white. And they fit my project perfectly. And then I, they just go in just by screwing them in. And now this gave me a place to hang my utensils. I think this project came out really cute. It's perfect for any farmhouse kitchen. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chocolateoffancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper, transfers, or mesh stencils, chocolateoffancy.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.